today's episode, I want to take you on a journey through Amsterdam, a city called the Venice of the North, famous for its bars, red light district, sex or prostitution museum. Someone may think that this is today's equivalent of the biblical Sodom. However, unlike its counterpart, the city welcomes tourists who can accommodate here in many interesting places. In order not to discourage the more prudish viewers, I want to mention that Amsterdam has a lot to show also for such people. In addition to admiring the city's architecture from the water tram, you can commune with the world-class culture by visiting the Van Gogh Museum, the Rembrandt and Anne Frank houses, or the Madame Tissot Wax Museum. The people culturally less interested will be able to pass their free time by visiting the Museum of Handbags or the Museum of Cheese. Since you can find plenty of attractions in the city, it's quite likely that you will want to spend more than one day here. Out of the multitude of hotel facilities, today I want to present you a hotel belonging to a small network called Citizen M. The network has several hotels in Europe, the United States and Asia. In addition to two facilities in the aforementioned Amsterdam, hotels of this network can also be found in Paris, Glasgow, London, Rotterdam, New York and Taipei. The first time I have stayed at this hotel in 2015 and it made a big impression on me. Personally, I simply love all kinds of technical innovations. This hotel at the very beginning has seduced me with its modernity. We will not find there a traditional reception. Instead, just after the entrance, we have several electronic terminals to check in and out of the facility. Even the entrance cards are activated by ourselves. Of course, if someone would not cope with the simple and intuitive user interface, there is always a hotel service available to help us. My surprise from the reception hall was nothing compared to what I found in the room. I must admit that the rooms in this hotel, although small, are decorated in a very modern way. Let's start with the presentation of this device. It is a tablet that can be found in every room. With this small device we can control blinds, lighting, room temperature and even TV. Each element can be controlled individually, but we can also choose one of the predefined settings. If you want to relax, we choose relax mode. The program sets the blinds, adjusts a nice light, releases a relaxing graphic on the TV and a pleasant music comes out from the speakers, soothing our nerves. All this automation is a great solution for those who like to have control over everything without leaving their bed. The room control tablet is just the beginning. The shower and toilet make the most impression. Both facilities are located in the middle of the room. Despite this unusual location, they provide a lot of privacy thanks to glass capsules, which can be covered closing yourself like in some kind of a teleportation device. Anyway, even if we don't feel comfortable closing the door behind us while sitting in the toilet, we will have to do it in the shower. This is the only way to run a stream of water from this shower. During my first day, it took me a while to come up with how it works. Well, I was after a whole day of business meetings and my grey cells were not working at full speed. Luckily, calling for hotel service was not necessary. In summary, the hotel rooms are simply great. The beds are very comfortable and the rooms are well soundproofed. Even from the street side, or like in this case, right next to one of the largest airports in Europe, you can spend your free time in peace and silence. The hotel is also available at quite affordable prices. For example, a room in a nearby Ibis hotel was several dozen euro more expensive. Unfortunately, the standard price does not include breakfast. However, you can buy it for around 14 euro. Breakfast is a typical European buffet. You can choose from scrambled eggs, hard-boiled eggs, cold meats, cheese, muesli with milk and of course hot drinks. The choice of products and their quality for this price is very poor and generally I don't recommend spending additional money for its purchase. Especially since there are plenty of places in the city and at the airport offering more for less money. Ok, we already know that the hotels of this network offer a good standard which will surely appeal to all geeks. However, they also have minor drawbacks. In both hotels in Amsterdam, there are no parking lots or any other attractions, such as swimming pool, spa or gym. 
Of course the car can be parked in the airport parking lot or left on one of the few parking garages in the city. But the lack of other attractions can be a bit disadvantage for people who after a journey or a hard business meeting want to relax in a jacuzzi or sauna. Cities and M hotels are in fact typical objects that are used mainly by people who are passing through Amsterdam or arrive for a short city tour. Both facilities in Amsterdam have a great location. One of them is located very close to the main terminal by walk up to 5 minutes. The airport is connected with the city center by the high speed railway and the return ticket can be bought for about 9 euros. We reach the city center in less than 15 minutes. The other Amsterdam hotel of this network is also located very conventionally in the very center of the city. In summary, I highly recommend this network of hotels. Although I have not visited all of them, you can expect service at a high level, clean, comfortable and modern hotel rooms and accommodation at a competitive price. Thank you for watching this episode, I highly encourage you to share this video with your friends and please leave the comment if you like it or not. Please also visit and like our page on Facebook. More episodes like this can be found on our websites at www.hotelguru.info.